and like if you knew like I don't yeah. know for different percents or different moves, different different ways to deal with turnips. All right, I gotta I gotta play. All right, good luck. Man. See you, man. Jeremy, you want to commentate? Okay. Um, I can, I can just solo commentate. Oh, all right, word. Are they? Are we ready for them? All right, yeah, we're ready. So we got Milk, uh, up and coming ice climbers player who is pretty good against Kazam, who is from NorCal originally here in the area because he goes to uh, Berkeley College of Music and a very competent Falcon player. Okay. Um, you know, you have any insight on Milk? Um, so I, he was in my pool at uh, Bust recently, and mm -hmm. he can wobble, and he, okay. and he will go for it. He will wobble you if he gets it. Good, as he should. Uh, yeah, I agree. And um, further insight, uh, he, he beat our, our pal GT last week. Okay. Um, Okay. Which is which is a feat, not uh, just because I ha I respect GT as a player, but because of how often GT gets to play against ice climbers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mainly playing against uh, BVB. So Milk is no slouch. Um, okay. And it looks up? like he's up a stock on Kazam okay. right here. He has Nana with him. Um, Popo's off stage. All right, recovers safely. They're back together. Kazam takes out. Ooh, he takes out both of them right yeah. one after another. Bingo, bango. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh. how I feel this matchup goes is you should not do that. Uh, well, do you, it looked like maybe he missed the L cancel on the knee, or do you, did he just start it too early? Maybe. I I think he started it too early. Okay. That's the thing. Because um, I I know you can make knee really safe. It, it's harder to do when he does that that hop across the stage rather than like a short hop in place. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, okay. Uh. Yeah, he's a stream monster, man. I love Bonk. Okay. Okay. Ooh, rest in Got some juggles. Um, so shout out to Bonk. Bonk. You can hear me. I love you. Jo uh, HTC Bugatti says that he loves Bonk Cushy. Uh, hearts, hearts, hearts. XOXO, I'm giving you kisses. I, f I hope you just heard all of that, Bonk. I really hope that one of our mics picked that up. Um, <laughs> But in, in, in the game, um, Milk getting a wobble on... This is um, the best animation. <laughs> for, for Falcon Game yes, Wobble. Yes, yeah, the greatest. That is the best one that I've seen, too. <laughs> okay, good. I'm, 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 glad, uh, I'm glad you heard it, Bonk. Oh, Tofu Poppy's in here, too? Hell yeah. Yo, Tofu Poppy. Uh, but, but anyway. Anyway. Um, Kazam, Kazam brings it down to um, Falcon versus Sopo, which is... Just the e, much better than versus both of them. Mm -hmm. um, doing a good job. Oh, I don't agree with that. You you don't have the lead. You really need to take that stock. Um, he should have just like back aired him or done something a little easier, less swaggy. But knowing Kazam I, though, he doesn't, yeah, he, he doesn't Kaz, care. Kaz, yeah, Kazam, he'll 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 style on you. Mm -hmm. um, right there though, I, I I disagree with it. Right. But you know he can do he can do his thing. Ooh, power shield is a jab. He knew immediately to grab. I like that. The soft need to force Sopo off stage, but that was a good air dodge. All right, that'll do it. But see, mm -hmm. that 41%, like, that can make all the difference now. I agree. Like, it's a lot harder to mash out now. Um, and uh, I like the, the way Milk was just using up airs. Up air is really good on this stage because it's so small. And the, the disjointedness of the of icy up air, but also how long it hangs out for, just makes it a really good tool here. You can just, like, arc it. And um, like right there, I think he should have like waited a half second longer than up air rather than going for back air. Um, but I understand the impulse to get your opponent off stage. But right here, up air, up air, great oh, no. comeback from Kazam. That was good stuff. That was really good stuff. So it looks like during the news we're getting Kazam's opting to use kind of like moves with with large hitboxes and um, just kind of going for whoever he hits. You know, what I mean, if he hits an Anna, okay. Uh, if he hits Popo, that's even better. But he's not really targeting Nana, you know, as some people's game plans are versus Ice Climbers. Right. I, I kind of have the same strategy. It's kind of like whoever you hit. Doing a good job of keeping them separated right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets hit by the, the up B. And now it's getting edge guarded. Well, yeah, he gets back on. 
so nice. hard for Ice Climbers to cover that platform too. That was a nice get up attack because he waited until Milk was like on his way back down mm -hmm. after double jumping. You get up attack too early sometimes and, and you just get punished hard. Right. So good first stock from uh, from Kazam. Seems like he has some knowledge in the ice even matchup because not a lot of people know that after um, after the squall hammer that the air mobility in the special fall for the ice climbers goes way down. They ah. they can't move. They can't move much. Uh huh. So it's fine to just hold on a ledge, even if it looks like they're gonna get back on stage. They probably aren't. Breaks out of the wobble there. That's gonna prove important. We'll see who can. Oh, dash attack! Dash attack! Okay, Kazan with some tricks he's yeah, right now. He's got he's got nice movement. Oh, that rolling could have been really bad. Ops to fast fall through the platform that time. He's good at uh, he's good at being tricky with the uh, the recovery. You kind of have to if you're gonna main Falcon. Right. You gotta learn your tricks, and that should do it. Uh, Nana too far away from Popo. You know what's kind of interesting dynamic? What? If you don't really like do not that much damage to Nana, she doesn't go that far with Popo once you hit him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Nana with the down. Definitely various ways to uh, take advantage of just the fact that there is a computer on a nice timers players. T I don't want to call it team, but right. but they're they're they have a computer playing with them, and that's a part of it. And you know. A lot of the stuff that I've learned recently has been in terms of how Nana behaves when Popo's at different percentages. Mm -hmm. I got grabbed by, I was playing a friendly with BVB, and they were separated, and I was shielding near Nana, but she grabbed me because Popo was over 120%, and then that gave uh, BVB time to get over with Popo and like turn it into a stock, pretty much. So there's definitely a lot of uh, nuances with uh, Ice Climbers. And and, and if and if you can somehow get Sopo off stage in a spot where his recovery he's not gonna be able to side B or up B with Nana, then that's amazing. Oh, just goes in there with the knee, just not even caring. Almost at the same deficit as the last game. Let's we'll see yeah. if we can bring it back. Quite a different stage. Um, I think I think stage wise this has been helping Kazam more than Bill. I agree. Uh, but we'll see if uh, I think it was it was partly the stage that that had that comeback happen last time. Mm -hmm. So a little too ham. Not the first time he's done that with the uh, the late uh, double jump wall jump up B to get a hug on on one of the climbers. Right. It would have been cool to see Milk kind of be more ready for that, maybe with a blizzard or a down smash. Um, hey, what's good, Mafia? That milk takes game two. Solid edge guard. You have to get your edge guards against Falcon. It's a must. Shout out to the blunt specialists in the blunt chamber. Got nothing but love for all y'all. You got. Hey. Um, it depends. So you won on Yoshi's, right? And now uh, you just won, and you banned something. You banned Fountain. And if you want to go back to Yoshi's, he has to allow it. So if you, if he doesn't, okay, yeah. Just a brief discussion on how the, the striking and the rules work. Ooh, ooh. Could have been, could have been worse for him, that rap, Raptor boost that did not work out, but only, only 822% for it. Against, uh, and it's Falcons like this who really like prefer their their ground movement over the platforms. Um, Blizzard is really good. Yeah, I can see that. Blizzard stops almost everything Falcon can do. Yeah, because it's it's got good range. Right. Oh, that was smart stuff from Milk. Um, just a great up B. It was also smart from Kazam to grab the ledge like that, especially sneakily, because if you make it obvious that you're just grabbing the ledge, then the Sopo can kind of just come and like hit you right after your invincibility runs out or mm -hmm. at least like gets superior positioning um good stock that was crazy good good stock from uh, kazam i didn't even see him turn around that was an interesting down air mm -hmm. 
I feel like normally uh, with Falcon up in the air like that, you'd see a, a nice climber player uh, up air. Right. Um, uh, Icy down air does have um, a decent hitbox, like on the side of it, and as well maybe like near the top. Near the top, but I don't know. I think I think up air would have been better there, even though the down air connected. You see Milk trying to go for these wobbles right away, and Kazam keeps breaking out. Um, yeah. I think he definitely needs to go for a setup before he starts for that. Right, like the uh, the down throw down air. Right. Yeah. At times, also, if you if your opponent is conditioned and thinking that you're going to go for a wobble every time, you can also just like down throw down smash or down throw F smash, and you can just catch them not DIing. Even if they're at like lower percent, it can at least force them to like have to double jump to ledge or or mix up a recovery or something. It's also a good point that Jellyfish and Mafia make is that Kazam doesn't seem to dash dance very much. I think um, every Falcon player should be, uh, should be dash dancing. It's those elegant gazelle-esque strides. Falcon's dash animation is uh, longer than maybe every other character's, and by that I mean the initial the, the, dash. You mean the, the initial dash? Yeah, for for like how long your dash dance can be before I'm before sure you is longer. before you enter the run animation. Really? Yes, I could see that. I think that's it, though. Yeah, you you could be right, but uh, ooh, okay, nice nice stuff there. Um, Milk holding in on those combos. But it's it's just really nice to be able to mix up like other characters like Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Pikachu's dash dance cannot go that far. Right. Has to be like confined to a much smaller space. So as Falcon, you can do these like long ones, but then you can also do small ones, and it's just I don't know, his dash dance is just awesome. And uh, I know when I play Falcon I try and dash dance on people. And I think especially against um Ices, uh, having superior sp speed like Falcon does and a superior dash dance and just movement in general, um, you, you gotta you gotta take advantage of that. We'll see if um, if Milk can finish off this edge guard. If he can, this is anyone's game. But he, okay, so that works. He covered the uh, the tournament winner there. And Nana still being alive. This is completely anyone's game. Oh, Sam just wants to hit him now. Yeah, he he was doing some nice plaf. He still was doing a nice platform okay, movement, gone. managed to get a knee out of it, and now this is looking a lot more bleak for Milk. Let's see what a Sopo, Sopo can do. Power shield, grab, misses the up air, down throw, knee, that'll do it. Good stuff to uh, Kazam. But also good stuff to Milk, honestly, because I think he's like, he hasn't been playing for that long, mm. but he's definitely like pretty solid. 